Autolite and its 98,000 dealers bring you Mona Freeman and Robert Wagner in tonight's presentation of Suspense. Tonight, Autolite presents the true story of an attempt to escape to freedom in which it has been necessary to change the names of all principal participants in order that their survivors, still imprisoned, may live. Listen, young lovers. Our stars, Mona Freeman and Robert Wagner. Say, Hap, uh, what's your favorite flavor? Chocolate, Harlow. Why? Well, everybody has a flavor preference, but on something really important, they sometimes take anything. Like what, Harlow? Like a new part for a car's electrical system, Hap. When you need a new contact set, for example, you should always insist on one exactly the same as that installed by your car manufacturer. And on my car, that means Autolite, eh, Harlow? Yes, sir, Hap. Autolite builds complete electrical systems for many of our finest cars, trucks, and tractors. So, if your Autolite-equipped car needs replacements, always insist on Autolite original service parts. And what about cars that aren't Autolite-equipped, Harlow? No matter what make of car you drive, always play safe by making sure the parts replaced are exactly the same as those originally installed. And for your Autolite-equipped car, the best is Autolite original service parts. Remember, from bumper to taillight, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite presents transcribed Robert Wagner and Mona Freeman in Listen, Young Lovers, hoping once again to keep you in suspense. It was in Czechoslovakia a year ago, a high-vaulted room in a prison's turret, the city of Prague. There was a boy named Yenrik, and he was 21. And until this morning, he'd been a student at the communist-controlled university. And now he faced his inquisitors. Go to the window, Yenrik. Go on, Yenrik. Go to the window. Now, down there. Do you see the automobiles? The automobiles? Do you see them? Yenrik? Yenrik? Yes. Yes, I see them. And the people? Yes. And the building of the Ministry of War? Yes. Therefore, they exist because you see them. You understand, Yenrik? Please. Yes, what is it? Comrades? Of course we are all comrades, Yenrik. This comrade, for example? Yes. You see his medals? Certainly, because they exist. And his sword? Yes. His head? Yes. His mind? Comrade, his mind? Or this comrade's mind? Or. <laughs> Shall we have you shot, Yenrik? Or is expulsion enough? What do you think, comrades? Shoot him. Uh, what was the book you were caught with, Yenrik? Varieties of Religious Experiences by Henry James. Western philosophy. Have him shot. Shoot him, have him shot, blood and blood and blood. Yenrik. Yes? To kill you would be to fail. You are clever. You think. Therefore, if you are clever for us, fought for us, we could win. Therefore, a victory for us, for communism. So go home. Go home and purge your mind. In about a day, I think, come to me and say to me, I am ready. Teach me to think. Teach me what you want me to know. Go home. And for this they expelled you? For daring to read? For daring to think? For this, my lot. This that they have done to you? Yes. After it will come arrest and torture and imprisonment and the labor camp. Mulata. And death. As it came to Mikolash, who also was a student, who also read of alien philosophy. Mulata. Death, death. Stop it. We speak of it no more, Mulata. What time is it? It is almost the hour of... Turn on the radio, then. Lower. Turn it lower. Yenrik. 
Yes? Come here to me. Close to me. And sit with me. And watch the fall of night. And hold me. Mulata. Gentle Mulata. This is the voice of free Czechoslovakia. And the voice of Radio Free Europe. Bringing you the news of the free world. Bringing you the knowledge that you are not forgotten. And the hope of your future liberation. The voice now of free Czechoslovakia. This is Password Little Garden. Dear Mother, we know these are the worst times you have ever lived through, but you must believe that one day we will see you again. This is Password Hephaestus, calling my friends from the Krumlov area. The border crossing was hard and exhausting, but it was a success. Now I am well and I see true freedom. Tonight, as we promised, we are going to tell you about the Free Europe College in Strasbourg. Like Radio Free Europe, the college is maintained by the voluntary contributions of the American people. It is for students who have escaped from the Soviet orbit, from me? Soviet tyranny, from Soviet terror, for students who have fled across the border and come to Germany, where they have found a climate of freedom and of learning. Henrik, why have you turned it off? Why... Shh. I thought I heard a step on the stairs in the hall. Yes, I did hear. Turn on the lights, Malata. Quickly. Perhaps it's only the man who lives up... Stefan. Uh, comrade Stefan, who was walking the streets in loneliness and in regret, and who thought to call on a friend, on a comrade. Uh, may I? Come in. You know Malada? Of course. You brought her once to the university, and her sweet young face made such an impression amongst us. We talked of it, of you, of your lovely fiancée, Malada. Why are you here? I told you. It was a night of loneliness and of regret. Oh, how harsh we were with him, Malada, with your love. How uh, almost brutal. What savage blows we struck against his sensitive brain. And I became concerned for him. I became... Uh... <laughs> but uh, your young man, a man of intellect, of perception. And see him. See his face. How he knows I lie. How he knows I have no concern for him, nor pity, nor rage. But you... You have such emotions for him, Malada. And love also. Then tell him. Convince him, take his hand, and lead him back to us with your young love. For this, that one day and soon, your gentle arms will not have to cradle his corpse. Well, tomorrow, Yenrik, and we will welcome you back with such warmth, such joy. Good night, Yenrik. Malada. Henrik? Henrik, beloved. Yes. What was said on the radio? The Free Europe College in Strasbourg. For those who escaped. I cannot. You must. You will. Hear me. Not without you. Then with me. If not alone, with me. It is 300 miles. 300 miles of guards and border patrols and informers and dogs. Wilderness and hunger and hiding. With me. With me. Henrik. Yes. But it must be now. Immediately now. Get your coat. A scarf for your hair if you have candy bars. Yes. Quickly, Malala. Quickly. Yes. My, my scarf. My coat. Candy bars. And this. Take it, Yenrik. What is it? The same that I have for myself. A small bottle of liquid. A poison that is kept here for insects and vermin. Malala. If we are caught, we will drink it. Together we will drink it. In this way, he will never separate us. This way we'll, we will never leave each other. Yes. A 
thing they had talked about for a long time, now decided. But how to get to freedom? No passports, so they dare not trust trains nor other public conveyances. Nothing but their feet to carry them. Two sweethearts out for a casual stroll. So they walked. Prague to Kladno, across the Tava River, swollen by spring rains, to Krasliche, and close to the border now. Lonely path through the mountain roads and across fields to the young lovers, almost a pleasant adventure. Almost. Run. Run. Quickly. In. When the rain came, when the lightning struck that tree back there, and, and the thunder, I, I prayed for a shelter for you. And, and now there's a barn. Now there is shelter. What? No, no, whatever it is, Malata, no. Don't move, don't talk, but, but lie there. See? There, near the wall. The straw. Hello? Go back to the house, son. The colt will be born, I will call you, and you will name. Don't breathe, don't move. Friend of mine? And what shall we name your colt, my son wants to know? Ludmila? And if a stallion shall shall we name? Out. Out or with this pitchfork. Now let me look at you. Step closer to the light. Two of you. Two of you now. We're not thieves. No. Truly, we're not thieves. Then what? Hikers. Throw down your papers then, so I'll know it. Well? There are no papers. Refugees? Yes. From what? Terror. The government of Czechoslovakia? Yes. I throw down the pitchfork for whatever symbol you wish to make of it. I am your friend. Oh, how grateful. Hush, hush. Now listen to me. Yes? Sleep. And at dawn, I'll wake you. With directions to the border, which is nearby. And there is a guard I know who is there. And I will send you to him. And he is a friend. And he will show you how to get into Germany. I envy your courage. <laughs> your arms over your heads. Henry. Do not fear. You are Raddick, the guard who... I am Raddick. Come forward. You are the two who slept in my friend's barn, the pretty young girl and her young man, the refugees. Yes. He said you'd be our friend. Raddick, show us how we can get into Germany. And for this, we are... You are what? Grateful, because he was kind, as you are kind. And a final act of kindness. You're under arrest... Oh, no. Yes, I say it. You are under arrest. Autolite is bringing you Mona Freeman and Robert Wagner in... Listen, Young Lovers, tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Say, uh, Hap, you wouldn't buy ice cream without specifying the flavor, would you? Of course not, Harlow. And yet many drivers get new parts for their car's vital electrical system and never know what they're taking. They're taking a big chance. They sure are, Hap. Every car has an electrical system which has been designed for that particular make of car. 
When parts need to be replaced, the wise owner will insist on original service parts exactly like those first installed. Like Autolite original service parts for Autolite equipped cars, eh, Harlow? Right, Hap. Autolite original service parts for the coil, distributor, starting motor, generator, and voltage regulator are designed to work together as members of a perfect team. No matter what make of car you own, get parts exactly the same as those installed by the manufacturer. Then you'll be sure of safe and efficient operation. On Autolite-equipped cars, insist on Autolite original service parts. Because, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage Robert Wagner and Mona Freeman in Elliot Lewis's production of Listen, Young Lovers, a true report well calculated to keep you in suspense. Betrayal. Escape to freedom, which was a thing of loneliness and of sobbing and of storm, halted now and betrayed. Made futile by a man who had given them a night's sleep in his barn and spoke gently of refugees and of courage and of help to be had from his friend, the guard. And while they slept, informed to the man of the automatic rifle who stood guard on the Czech-German border, who was communist, who was called Radic. Lambs, lost little lambs to have huddled in his barn from the storm. <laughs> to have believed such as him to come so innocent to the slaughter. To Radic. And you would kill You, if you try something. Her? Her of the pretty young face? Not her? Perhaps, if a tear fell on such a soft cheek. <laughs> come, move, move. Where do you take us? To the hut there, where there is a phone, where I call the proper authorities. Tell them Radic has snared two more. Radic? Radic? <laughs> How soft you say my name, and without fright. The thing you said. What thing? That you would kill him. If he wants it, if he must pretend to you he is a hero. He is no hero. Good. Not a hero. Something else. Mulata. Something else you are. Coward and traitor. Student who is superior to all around him. And arrogant. And looks down upon those around him. <laughs> upon you, little one. Upon such pertinence as you. Run, Mulata. Run. The trick and run, run across the border into eastern Germany and keep running. And behind them, the shouts of clamor and the baying of dogs. And like animals, hide. Run again into darkness and under the shield of night. Exhausted sleep. Dawn then. And the highlands of eastern Germany to walk. And the forests of Bomerwald. Dangerous to walk the roads because they spoke no German. Therefore, easily recognized as foreigners, easily arrested, and not dare ask for food, but walk where wilderness is, wander the bogs of Turingerwald, and dig for food. Yenrik, I have found another. Good. We will have a feast. Here, Malata, under the tree. <laughs> Shelter, warmth, food. And with my love, what more to ask? Freedom. Eat. I do not want to eat. You must. These berries and garnished with roots, and after we will hunt for... Lie close to the ground. Very close. Do not utter a sound. Breathe into the earth. Karinchen. Kleine, wilde Kaninchen aus dem Wald. Und ich bin der Jäger. Und ich habe euch gefunden. Und euch gefangen. Steht auf! Und ich töte euch! We are refugees. We're not dangerous. We are but... <laughs> Sie sprechen. Die wilden Kaninchen sprechen. He doesn't understand us, Malata. And his look, as if he were mad. His pistol. He holds it so close to your face. 
He will kill you. He will. Ich habe euch vom Wald gesehen. Sie aßen gerade. What? I... Essen. I... So. <coughs> Hungrig. He's hungry. The sign he makes. Give them to him. Give him the roots and the berries. Take them. Please take them, old man. Nein, nein. You are hungry. Take them. We will find others. Dank, dank schön. <laughs> oh, Henry, hold me. Hold me. <laughs> By now, they had lost all track of time. Some days, they covered as much as 10 or 15 miles. Other days, they knew they were lost and had to retrace their steps. And always, there was the hunger. And always, the feeling somehow that the trip would never end. I can't go on. I can't. I can't. I can't. Lot of... You go. You can make it. No. No, listen. What? Listen, can you hear it? A car. We must be near a highway. We'll ask someone for a ride. Yes. No. But... No. Suppose it's a communist who stops for us. Immediately there will be questions. Then there will always be the bottles, Mulata. The bottles of poison. We'll die together and that will be our victory. Yes. Then come. Henrik. Yes, Pray? Yes. Was there ever such a prayer that a vehicle should come by? That the driver of the vehicle be not a communist? That the driver be not a communist? Please, will you give us a ride? Sie sprechen nicht Deutsch? Nein, we don't speak German. We're a Czech. Kinder, children. Get into the wagon, quickly. Get down on the floor. The car approaching has a spotlight. It is a patrol car. Quickly, quickly. to try to cross it. Now, dawn. We don't know how to thank you. Driving all night. Oh, it is I who should thank you to have given me the opportunity to help kindle whatever flame of protest. Now listen. Take advantage of the trees along the road. Go from one to the other. Then the bridge. And then the American zone. Then freedom. God bless you both and be at your side. Hallelujah! Quickly now, across the road. Now, as the woman said, from tree to tree. Yes. All right? Yes. Now. Look, look at the bridge. Guards, two guards, Russian. Walking their post. And across the bridge is freedom. Across the bridge is life. Yes. While the guards are walking away... Yes? <laughs> Malata, get up. Quickly, before the guards. I can't. My ankle. I'll help I you. I turned it. I'll help you. I'm around my shoulder. I can't. I, I think I must have broken it. Stop! The Russian guards. They've seen us. I shall have eaten us. And they have to Henry! Run, beloved, run! Not without you. Stop! The bottle. Leave me. I will drink of mine. Beloved, beloved. No separation, no torch. Yes, and I will drink of mine. My arrest, Alan. Mushly some night. Hey! Hey, what's happened here? What's the matter? Americans. Two young people. Uh, too much whiskey. Yeah? 
What do you think, Sarge? Well, they're on our side of the bridge. Uh, please? Well, we'll take care of them. But they are our people. Our they... side of the bridge, Commissar. You see the marker? Our side. But, but... Carry the girl, Nolan. I'll take care of the guy. Yeah, but... Knock it off, Jack. Our side of the bridge. It belongs to us. What's the matter, sis? Too much of the booze? Boys. What? Sarge. Yeah? Poison. She said... Yeah, yeah, the guy, too. Come on. Let's get a move on. Radio Free Europe, brought to you by your friends in America. The voice now of Free Czechoslovakia. This is Password Greenbauer. Calling all our friends in the area of Prague. We have recovered now from the poison, and we have married. We attend now the Free Europe College in Strasbourg. Students who escape the Russian orbit are welcome here. We wait for you with open arms. There is freedom here, and the teaching of ideas. Free ideas for which millions have been and are still ready to die. I hold out my hand to all of you. And this is Password Traviata, calling Yilava region. Greetings and remembrances to all our dear friends. We wait for you. We greet you from a free world. Suspense, presented by Autolite. Tonight's stars, Mona Freeman and Robert Wagner. A few weeks ago, the $100,000 Autolite family charity drawing ended. Since then, 47 regional drawings have been conducted under the supervision of member clubs of the American Automobile Association. Tomorrow in New York City, the national drawing will be held. A distinguished committee of civic, religious, and charity leaders will witness the event as your representatives. The first name, the first person whose name is selected, will designate $50,000 in cash to any charity or charities he or she wishes. The next person will designate $20,000, and the third person selected will designate $5,000 to his or her favorite charity. The next 22 persons named will designate sums of $1,000 to $3,000 each to charities they choose. The person selected in tomorrow's drawing will be notified by mail this week. And now this is Harlow Wilcox speaking for the entire Autolite family, thanking each and every one of you who registered. Next week, a classic study of suspense as we present a new dramatization of one of the most terrifying stories ever written. Wilkie Collins' A Terribly Strange Bed. Our star, Mr. Peter Lawford. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is transcribed and directed by Elliot Lewis, with music composed by Lucian Morrowick and conducted by Lud Gluskin. Listen, Young Lovers was adapted for Suspense by Morton Fine and David Friedkin, from the report of David Camelon. Featured in tonight's cast were Sam Edwards, Frank Goss, Larry Thor, Joseph Kearns, Steve Roberts, Harry Bartell, Lou Merrill, Jack Crucian, Edith Angold, and Jimmy Eagles. Mona Freeman appeared through the courtesy of RKO Radio Pictures, and Robert Wagner may currently be seen co-starring with James Mason and Janet Lee in the 20th Century Fox picture, Prince Valiant. And remember, next week, Mr. Peter Lawford stars in Wilkie Collins' story, A Terribly Strange Bed. You can buy Autolite Original Service Parts, Autolite Standard or Resistor Type Spark Plugs, or Autolite Stay of Full Batteries at your neighborhood Autolite dealers. Switch to Autolite. Good night. This is the CBS Radio Network.